All right, lads. BSB are you? Big sip of beer review. And today's review, we're going to look at K Cider. It's 8% in a 500ml can. Um, this morning, I woke up, I chucked a little poll on Twitter. Um, which one shall I review today? It was K Cider, another Super Strength Cider, uh, a Super Strength Lager, and option D, or the fourth option, was have a day off you pig. But... A four hour poll turned in to, um, well, the result came in to, and the winner was, have a day off you pig. <laughs> so this one came second. So I thought, well, I'm not having a day off because I'm not going to be putting many videos out next week. I'm working a lot and one day I've got my Corona jab. So um, I'll, my channel will be quite quiet next week. So I thought I won't have a day off. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to have a look at K-Cider and it's 500, uh, 8% 500ml can. Oh, pongs of um, pongs, isn't it? Wait for me. Apples then. It's fizzing about, isn't it? You'll probably hear that on the camera. So many cider glass I got as well. So look at dark orange colour with fast carbonation rising up the glass and the aroma full on apples. It is full on. It's all, it's all I can smell of it really. It's full on decent apple smell. It's just, it's, ooh, teeth in. It does smell actually all right. Chin chin all buddy. Let's have a go. Oh. So it's, oh, God. First of all, it, it's in between a dry and a medium cider. Oh, oh I don't like it. I don't like it. Um, you get a full on apple taste, but the apple taste is quite vine vinegary, if you get me or, or understand it. Um, very, very low carbonation. Oh, oh, I don't like it. Um, oh, it's quite tinny as well. I don't know how long it's been in the can for. I don't know, if it's, I don't know how long. Best before the 8th, 2021. So it's only got two months of life left, isn't it? It's six now, or no, the fifth now, only. Three months left. So it could have been canned for a long, long time. Uh, it's quite tinny. There is a little bit of apple taste on it, but the apple taste is quite vinegary. Um, Yes, it's not for me. Oh. Quite sour on the back end as well. I used to be a cider drinker. I don't review many ciders because I don't drink cider no more. Um, and if I do drink cider, it'll just be like a one bottle or um, I'll never get a box of cider in. Um, but I used to be a cider drinker, but moved away and moved on to other things. Um, but this one, that's not the best. Quite tinny. Um, the apple taste is quite vinegary. And it's quite sour on the back end. 8%. That's actually quite, it's actually quite well hidden because you can get a 4% cider which tastes like that. So 
the eight percent is quite is very well very well hidden, but it's not for me. So let's have a look at big zip vulnerability. Oh, yeah. Oh, don't like that. Um, saying that, it's not the worst cider I ever had. It's not. Um, I had a cider gift pack off my sister for Christmas, and I had a sink with them. It was that bad, I, I actually chucked it down the sink. It was terrible. And that was probably the worst cider I ever tasted. I'll never name the cider because I, I don't do stuff like that, but that one did go down the sink. Um, I'm glad I'd done it. Because I always um, always see them in the supermarket, floating about. Um, I won't pick it up ever again. But I've done it. I've ticked it off. I'm going to give it a big sip rate. It's a 3 out of 10 for me. Because it's not horrific, but it's just above that. For me, personally. Yeah. Cheers, lads. More of you to come. More of you to date. Big sip.